guys, what's up? It is Nature. <laughs> How you doing? The way I am so excited about today's video, I don't typically do reviews on this channel. It's not really my jam for a number of reasons. Not least of which being that I feel inundated and overwhelmed with new products. Not so much during coronavirus. <laughs> but certainly in like the year or two before that, so many brands were just coming out with so many things that I sort of became disenfranchised and disillusioned with the idea of even reviewing them. There was too much. However, as the name implies, uh, this brand and collaboration is a total exception because I am a stan. I don't watch many beauty YouTubers, you guys know that, but Snitch will go on the record saying she is a, <laughs> it's me, I am a raw beauty Chrissy stan for life. And of course, as the title implies, she did come out with a brand new collaboration with Pure Cosmetics. Now, I was planning on buying this collection because like I said, I am a fangirl. However, this did show up at my house. I did scream audibly. I'm really, really excited to get into this. Um, this is also the collection that seemingly broke the internet. Like I said, I was fortunate enough to have been sent this collection, but I did see um, how many people were waiting in line to get on the Pure site um, that I guess they had some problems at launch, but eventually did figure it out, and Christy sold out. Incredible. I expected nothing. I, I literally, I have goosebumps right now for her because I am just, I've been watching Christy for the longest time. I don't watch many beauty YouTubers, but Christy has always been so different for me. If you guys somehow have not heard about her. She does basically the type of tutorials that I do, but much better, I would say. She's one of those YouTubers, at least to me, where pretty much every tutorial she ever does, I feel like I could put on my own face, but she also does play with color quite a bit, so it's not like her looks are boring. It's the complete opposite of that. She's actually so creative that her looks are all wearable while all being different. And this collection is made up of a palette and two eyelashes, which obviously I have no eye makeup on right now, so we are going to get into it. But this is the palette and this is the palette. So if you haven't seen the reveal video or anything about this product, this is a double-sided palette where one side is neutrals and one side is colorful. Now, I have not dug into this palette at all, so I'm really excited. This is the first time I'm really, really looking at it kind of up close, and the pans are actually... Let me show you a pinky for reference. They're quite large, especially in comparison to, like, uh... I don't know. I'm looking around for an example. These, you do get quite a bit of product, which I'm just noticing right off the bat. But according to Christy, the idea behind this entire collection is duality. So, essentially, sometimes you want to be super colorful and out there, and sometimes you want to be super neutral and a little bit more reserved and everyday, and I think the lashes do follow suit to that theme. I am really excited to get into this. Like I said, I have not tried it yet, so this will be a first impressions, and I do want to clarify while I am reviewing this collection, because I'm obviously excited about it and hope it works for me, I will also be brutally honest. But before we deep dive, if you've never seen my face before and you're ever interested in seeing my face again, we would love it if you describe Describe. Subscribed down below. We literally just hit half a million like 10 seconds ago. It's crazy. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on this little video journey. It really does mean the world, especially when you guys pop in for videos like this that I don't do super often. I'll zoom you in and let's do it. Okay, honeys. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot primer, so I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. So I think for this first impressions and review, I do want to focus a little bit more on the neutrals. Christy did mention that this collection is both cruelty-free and vegan, which does mean that some of the pinker or redder shades might stain the eye. When you make a vegan red pigment, you do have to supplement in something for the carmine or the crushed beetles, which is normally used in non-vegan red eye pigments, so I actually have had a fair bit of experience with red or pink shades from vegan formulas dyeing my eyes. That said, it's really not something that bothers me because I feel like if you put a primer down, you can kind of avoid it. But for today, I am definitely most intrigued by this row right here. Christy did describe that this was sort of the golden goldenrod row, and I, to my knowledge, have never done a golden eye look ever. Yellow is definitely not my color, however, she did say it was her favorite combo, so I'm kind of, I mean, if ever there was a time to do it, it's now. So I did just dip my brush into this powder. There is quite a bit of kickback, but I'll tell you what, I would much rather have a pigmented shadow that has some excess powder than a dry, 
shadow that drags where you really have to dig your brush in to get any pigment out of it. So I am gonna take it onto this brush and just start adding this yellow into the crease. Right away, I will say it is very pigmented. This first shadow, and granted this is a yellow, which is typically like the least pigmented <laughs> in a collection, I feel like, but this shadow with this brush, granted, is skewing a little bit more on the blendable side, which I always prefer because I hate when you put down a shadow and it's super, super pigmented, but then you're just stuck with it there. Like you can't move it, you can't budge it. It's gonna be basically a totally full throttle maxed out color no matter what, as soon as you dip a brush in there, like you're gonna get all the pigment that color has to offer. Sometimes that's great, but more often than not, I do like a shadow where I can kind of decide how much of the product I wanna distribute, how much I wanna build the product on top of each other. I don't necessarily want, in really any makeup product, just like an intense stripe of color. That shade I just used was called Camelot. Now I'm gonna go into this shade here called Copper Boxes and start deepening up that crease. Yeah, thus far guys, I, I am impressed. So as I'm leaning a little bit closer, but this yellow and the brown really are just kind of melting together. And one nice thing I will say is that I'm actually not losing really any of the pigment. I hope you guys can see. A lot of times with these blendable shadows, I do feel like I have to spend a lot of time rebuilding the pigment back up because they might blend, but you are gonna lose a lot of that pigment. And thus far, that has not been the case with this eye, which is actually really impressive because I do feel like typically yellows are the fastest to sort of pick up and leave your eye. And this very gold shade is sticking around. One thing about this palette is I do wish it had a black. Now, Christy did mention that she had asked on Twitter whether people wanted a white or a black in their palette, and people did overwhelmingly, she said, choose white. I pretty much never use a white shadow. It is very rare that I want to lighten up a color, and it's much more frequent, I guess, for me to want to deepen up a color using a black. And the only thing about this palette that I'm like, ugh, I wish there was a black because she intentionally designed this to make it travel friendly. Do you also, okay, this color is so pretty, bro. Anyway, I do also travel quite a bit. So I was like, oh my God, this is an amazing idea because it is, you guys can see, it's really even smaller than your average palette. However, you get quite a few colors. So you're really getting 18 colors and the pans again are really big. The structure of the palette itself, genius. However, however, should I end up liking the browns? Because this does give you enough variation and you do have some colors in here, I could see myself traveling with just this palette, except that there's no black. So that's the only thing that I'm like a little sad about. I said the same thing about the uh, Norvina collections, the Norvina collection palettes, and a lot of you guys were like, yeah, but in those collections, you know, these are supposed to be artistry palettes. She assumes you already have other palettes with you. That makes sense. This, because it is a travel palette, I just wish it had a black. Anyway, that tangent aside, I'm gonna go into B here, darken up that outer corner even further. If you guys are fans of Christy, or even if you're not, you really should watch her um, reveal video because it was actually really sweet and really, really cute. Listening to her describe her artwork and talk about all the different names of the shadows and why they're named that way. This palette thus far <laughs> is impressing me and I'm, Whenever I review palettes or try palettes out for the first time, I am also aware of how much layout can affect my review. Eyeshadow is actually really the makeup item that I wear the least. It's typically what I skip during my own daily makeup routine. I almost never include eyeshadow, so I'm actually not too, too well versed on how to create eye looks. I think I can tell, you know what, not I think. Let me toot my own horn, toot toot bitch. I can tell what quality makeup looks like because I have touched and played with quite a bit of makeup in my day, but I don't really have that creativity that I was describing in Christy when it comes to eyeshadow looks. Now, if you want me to paint my entire body blue and add polka dots and horns any day of the week, honey, but when it comes to an eye look, I am typically lost, especially when I look at a huge palette with like 38 colors and they're just everywhere and I don't know what's going on. I do think a palette like this is really helpful, especially when every single one of these colors is gonna complement one another. You could place all of these colors together and it still will not fuck up your eye look, which I, I appreciate the foolproof nature because I'm a fool. I also, you guys probably saw, but I do want to mention that one thing I love about this palette is it's nearly exclusively mattes. There are eight mattes and one shimmer to each side, a universal, she described it as almost a shimmer topper for any of these shades. I am a matte girl through and through, so this is the palette for me. Next, I'm going to go into my whole heart and I'm just going to dust that right here to open up my eye a little bit. Yeah, pigmented as shit. That genuinely actually took my breath away. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and a mix of this gold and this brown here, 
and I'm just gonna blend that all together and make it seamless but I do feel like that was really one of the more pigmented cream shades I've ever seen a lot of times I do feel like a cream almost just sort of functions how the white is intended to function in this palette where it'll just sort of lighten up everything else that's on your eye but that was a color in and of itself and then I'm gonna go into you're not my real dad down here and just finish darkening up the outer edge of my eye look I am gonna take Camelot that gold shade and dust it underneath my eye as well Wow, I forgot how yellow it was before we really played with other colors. I think that's part of the reason why I've never really wanted to delve into gold looks because it does just always look so intense in the pan and yellow is really not my color, but these browns are deepening it up so beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and mimic what I did on the top, just sort of deepening up the outer edge here with copper boxes and B, those two browns. To both be trying out a new color for me and to be playing with something that I do feel is really high quality is very fun. <laughs> Next I'm going to take Golden Ticket because I do want to try out the shimmers in this palette as well and I am going to take a little bit of that color. I will say it's not really giving me too 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 much color payoff. Oh there we go with a brush. I think the shimmers maybe Oh no, it's a finger moment. There we go. Yeah, 100% use your fingers with these or maybe even like a wet brush. As is, I feel like typically or often the case with shimmers, it does just perform a little, that's so pretty though. It does perform a little bit better on a finger. Now, before we try these lashes, I do wanna go ahead and swipe all of the colors in this collection for you guys. So I'm gonna swipe all of the colors on this arm. This is actually a really unfair swatch test because obviously this arm is black. There's a lot of color to compete with. However, I don't have a makeup wipe down here. So this arm can only handle but so much. I'm gonna start with Flavor Town. Holy shit, bro. Let's go into Garden State. Yeah, Christy, I see you. Christy, I see you. Next is Tribute. Am I orange? I am orange in every YouTube video. I am 100% orange right now. Jesus. Guys, let me reiterate. This is over a tattoo. Are you kidding? Okay, um, next we are gonna go into Side Effect. I'm gonna save the shimmer for last. is dandelion now this is a true gold so we'll see if it comes off as pigmented <clears throat> sure does there is nothing meaner I could do to an eyeshadow palette than make it swatch over my Japanese traditional sleeve that is the shade hurtful this when Christy was describing it looked like just a royal blue or at least in her video I was like okay I, I that's the blue when you see it in person and I think it's probably gonna show up as a royal blue to you guys too it's actually much more of like a not a teal because I would say this shade appears more of a teal but it does kind of skew more like sexy mermaid it, it, to me it almost reminds me of like a stormy sea that's what this blue is in person then the shade Lumos which I don't know how my girl didn't get sued <laughs> by Miss JK Rowling for naming a shade Lumos. I'm living for that. This is the pure white. <laughs> that is white. Hi. Okay, so these are all of the color shades on the rainbow side. Oh, and one more, of course. This is the shade Cafe Disco. This is the shimmer. Gorgeous. Here are all nine shades from the colorful side. Obviously, you guys saw they are extremely, extremely, extremely pigmented, but as you also saw on my eye, they're also very blendable. I am gonna swatch this side as well because I think this side might be a little bit more popular with you guys. She did mention it's the side she normally uses and it's obviously the side I use today. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these off camera since you guys just saw me live swatch the other side. Here are... <laughs> all of the neutrals. Again, this is just one pass with my fingers. Typically when I'm first using a palette, I don't swatch the shades. I just go right into my eye and swatches usually, what is she? Hi. Swatches usually are not how I decide whether or not I want to buy a palette. However, the fact that this palette performs both on the eye and on my arms so well is actually, I feel like unusual, no? Am I crazy? Oftentimes palettes that perform really well in swatches don't perform well in the eyes and vice versa but this one she's performing spectacularly <laughs> okay so for the lashes we do have two options we have the lovely lashes and the can't be bothered lashes these are more of an everyday lash and these are more of a dramatic lash I think today I'm gonna go for lovely only because I really never wear this eyelash shape of myself and I'm kind of curious because I also have obviously never done goldenrod makeup okay these are gonna have to be cut down so imagine if my eye was that long just imagine lashes on 
think that does finish us off. This palette does run for $34, which I think is a really good deal for getting 18 shades, especially because again, the pans are really large. Christy girl, if you're watching, I am so, 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 so fucking proud of you. This is really a collection wear for me, and I think probably for you guys too, the quality does just speak for itself. This palette is, as I mentioned, sold out, but I imagine they will be doing, or I think I saw they were going to be doing restocks, so keep an eye out if you're interested. This is one of, if not my favorite influencer collab, maybe ever. So congrats, Christy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for being my friend today and always, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Bye, guys.